Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to have a look at Kushiro's new add-on Simple Bend. And as the name suggests, you can use this add-on to bend objects, in particular mesh objects. So it only works on mesh objects. Once you've installed the add-on, you can access it in edit mode by right-clicking in the viewport and somewhere down here you will find the add-on. You can also assign a shortcut or put it in your quick favorites, which is what I have done. Simple Bend has two modes, one is face mode and one is edge mode. I'll demonstrate it first using face mode. And here you can see I have this object with a lot of geometry. You don't necessarily need all of that geometry if you only want to bend a certain area of an object. You just need geometry in that particular area in order to get a nice bend. One of the features of the add-on is that it works depending on the view angle. So if I rotate my camera like this and then use the add-on, I can move my mouse left to right and as you can see the object will bend in a certain way. So depending on the view angle, the add-on calculates the most likely bend angle. If I rotate my camera around like this and use the add-on again, I will get a different bend. Now in this case that's probably not what I want. I rather want something like this. I'm going to show you how you can change the bend angle in a second. So let's have a closer look at the features. As soon as I start Simple Bend, you can see we get some information at the bottom. At the top we have the bend angle. We can hit escape to exit the operation. We can hold down the shift key to bend in five degree increments. I wish there was an option to bend in smaller increments like one degree increments. But right now you can only do a free bend or by holding down shift bend in increments of five degrees. With the S key we can bend only the selected polygons. In this particular case that won't have an effect because I have all polygons selected anyway. With the C key, we can change the fixed part and we can toggle through uh, three presets basically. So if I hit C, you can see the right part stays put and the rest is being bent. If I hit C again, the left part is fixed. And if I hit C again, I'll go back to the default. With the W key, we can change the bend axis. So if I hit that, we can bend the object this way. If I hit W again, I can bend the object this way and hitting W again, I'll go back to the default. So let's do some examples here. I'll alt left click on one of these faces here to select a loop, then control plus to grow the selection because I want to bend around this area here. And let's use the tool and you can see we're getting the bend as expected. In this case, I need to hit the C key to change the fixed part. I want to do something like this and holding down shift, I'm going to bend this maybe 50 degrees. And let's say I want to add another bend up here. So I'm going to alt left click to select the loop here, control plus to select a few more polygons here and then use the tool again. And here you can see we're getting some distortion. So this is not at all working as expected. Whenever you run into issues like that, switch from face mode to edge mode. In edge mode, we have to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to hold down shift and deselect two edges. Sometimes I have the impression that it's also important where you deselect and select those two edges, but you can deselect any two edges here. Sometimes you will probably find that the bend is not working as expected. In that case, just try deselecting and selecting two other edges on, on your object. So in this case, I'm going to deselect these two edges and then we need to reselect them in a specific order. The first edge that we select is supposed to represent the object axis. So I'm going to pick this edge here. The second edge is supposed to be the bend axis. So holding on shift, I'm going to select this edge again. And this turns into the active edge. And now if I use the tool, I will get a bend as expected. And you can see we're not getting the distortion we had before. And of course I can still switch the angle. 
or the fixed part if I want to, to get the result that I want. Let's quickly have a look at two more examples. On this object here, I've selected these polygons here. So if I use the tool, depending on the view angle, I will get a certain bend in a certain direction. And I can change the fixed part here to do a bend like this maybe. Let's grab this face here. Actually, what I wanted to do is select one of the loops down here and grow the selection and change the angle, change the fixed part. Let's do something like this and I'm going to do an extrude here and extrude this up. Let's make a loop cut around here. If I want to bend this area at the top, I'll need more geometry. So I'm going to add a few more loop cuts here and I'm going to select one of these loops and grow the selection. And this is probably a situation where we need to switch to edge mode. So as you can see, we're getting distortion here. So let's try to make the bend in edge mode. I'm going to deselect these two edges here. And this will be my object axis. This will be my bend axis. And we need to change the angle with the W key and with the C key. I'm going to change the fixed part and now everything's working as expected. And of course you can also bend round objects. It works exactly the same way. Again, depending on the view angle, the bend will go in a different direction. So let's do something like this. And let's just say, I want to bend this area here. Now I already know that I will need edge mode to do that. So I'm switching to edge mode going to deselect these two edges. This will be my object axis. This will be my bend axis. And we'll need to change the angle again. And using the C key, I'm going to change the fixed part. So this is a pretty nice tool. I find it pretty useful. I'll put a link in the video description to the shop page at Blender Market. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you again soon.